Welcome, you have reached review time with Imperial, and today's review will be Chucky the TV series, episode 4. Let's get into it. Man, this uh, series is is great, man. Anybody who is into the whole Chucky franchise, this series is great. This series is better it's up there with about Chucky one was a classic and then two then it got a little wonky on three then a couple of them was wonky in between Chucky Bride was good but this TV series is right on um the money man like <laughs> it's touching all cylinders of the whole Chucky the the the, the quirky lines the kills it's all there so in this episode of course this is the aftermath of the party party got bur everybody got um the house got burned up and you see that lexi was in the face of death with chucky but lexi is in this episode so she didn't die so she, everybody's at the hospital Lexi wasn't hurt. Her little sister is on a ventilator system. Because, of course, she was asleep and the smoke got in her lungs. Junior, the smoke got in his lungs. His dad is upset that he can't compete. Of course, um, Lexi is shook up because she witnessed Chuck G's real and he's trying to kill her. So then you have Jake. Who would naturally become a suspect, but he wasn't actually at the party. So he shows up at the hospital. He's one there one round. Lexi parents is of course holding her blame because she had a party without their authorization. And despite having a party without her authorization, her little sister ended up getting hurt. So from there you had uh the detective is there and the detective is pretty much telling the parents that they need to stop bickering with one another because Oliver that was in at the party he didn't die from smoke or ventilation he died from getting killed by stab wounds of course we know Chucky sliced him up so you had uh, Jake and Lexi have it out, and he pretty much told her that he pit, he sick Chucky on her because you know her behavior. So when he sicked her on him for her behavior, pretty much he told her that no one would believe her that. When she tells him Chucky was the the one responsible for everything. So they pretty much uh, thought it would be best if they teamed up. So when they teamed up together, they said, Let's, where did you last see Chucky? He was in my room. So they made it their pact to go back to the room. So you got Junior who's at the hospital. He got to get a... Um, A test done where they stick a tube down his throat to see if how his lungs is. The little sister is on a ventilation system. And um, Lexi and Jake is on their way to back to her house. So they get back to her house and they're creeped out. And in the process of being creeped out, they hear noises. So they're up uh, stairs. And when they upstairs... Lexi and Jake begin to argue again. And pretty much Lexi was being um, cynical. And she pretty much was just telling him that it's his fault and everything. And he pretty much told her that it's not uh, my fault. And it's because you was being, you know, you uh, pretty much you made fun that my, my dad passed away. And so... She basically was saying, well, why didn't you just tell me? And she's pretty much saying nobody pretty much could talk to you in a sense. So when 
he was frustrated with her, he kind of like brushed her where she fell over the balcony and then he hurried up and grabbed her. And when he grabbed her, she was hanging from the balcony of the house. And so when she was hanging, he had her arm. Chucky came out. Now half his face was all mangled and burnt up. And so it was just classic Chucky. And he's basically telling Jake, hey, man, just drop her. This is where it all starts, you know, basically drop her and then basically he'll finish her off. So basically Jake told her that he's not like him and he pulled her up and he didn't let her go. So after that, the cop came in, the detective's partner. And so he came in, basically said, y'all shouldn't be in here and y'all come with me. I'm taking y'all to the hospital. Your parents wanted the da-da. So... They're like, no, don't take the dial. So Chucky, of course, went in dial mode. And it, um, the detective's like, this is an ugly dial. And so he grabbed him. So you already know he's insulting Chucky. And you know he going, Chucky going to get him back. So from there, um, the detective, uh, when they get to the hospital, Devin's mom, who's the detective, she pretty much, she uh, wants to speak with Jake. So she pulls him in like an interrogation room inside the hospital meanwhile jake told lexi go find the doll and make sure everything's good so lexi heads out she heads to her sister's room and asks the nurse has uh pretty much has she seen anything or anybody come and drop off a doll and the nurse was like no so then lexi went and she ran into devin devin pretty much told her where's jake i know some things about the doll she's pretty much tell like tell me what it is i listen to you and so devin went back to her room to um devin took lexi back to his room to tell him what he found out about um charles lee ray and the whole chucky dog situation meanwhile jake is getting interrogated by the detective devin's mom and he's starting to admit because she's antagonizing pretty much he's starting to admit what took place and he's starting to crack under pressure. So by right, she shouldn't be talking to him anyway because he's a minor. But she's putting the pressure on him. Right when he was about to say something, the alarms went off. Now, meanwhile, what's happening, the detective, he went to get something out of the vending machine. Cutting Chucky was sitting there. And he was the whole time talking crap to Chucky. Just the doll. And so he went into, took Chucky into the room where... Lexi's little sister was and when he took her in the room chucked the doll in there what took place is this detective was eating donuts and dropping the donut crumbs all on Chucky head and eating cookies and eat just just being real obnoxious and so uh the detective wasn't looking Chucky took a knife and threw it in the detective's back and so when he he, not a knife, you know, a scalpel. And he threw it in Chucky's back. And when he took it, threw it in his back, the detective fell backwards and the knife punctured through him. And then it hit his spine, of course, it severed whatever. He couldn't move. And so Chucky hopped off the thing and pretty much told him, you know, uh, you can't move because I hit your spine. And so Chucky, uh, in true form, said, uh, you know, his catchphrases and digged into a box that had a bunch of needles and just went and just stabbed the detective up. Now, detective was already blame, blaming Jake. And so now when that alarm went off, right when Jake was getting ready to admit to whatever, it was Chucky had uh took the um Chucky had unplugged the ventilation machine from the little sister. So everybody rushed in. And so I was wondering, did Chucky just move this detective? And so they was moving around in the detect in the um they was moving around in the room where the little sister was. They found out that the ventilation machine was unplugged. And when the nurse looked over, she seen a detective. And everybody starts screaming in the room and everything like that. So now the detective knows, like, hey, it wasn't Jake who was responsible for this. So the funny part was when nobody was looking, 
Chucky was setting up in die mode on the um on the window still with his uh middle finger up. Man, that's classic Chucky. Oh wait. <laughs> he had his middle finger up uh looking at um the kids. Man, that was classic, man. This this is a good show, man. So subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you into Chucky, you definitely should be tuned into this series. Uh check on um, the rest of the video so you see what's going on and to get up to base but it definitely it's on the usa channel definitely a good series to watch if you went to the whole chucky series till next time